a movie that I've thought about for so long, and I hadn't seen it in probably a decade, but watched Star 80 last night, which we talked about on Entourage. But Hello. Paul Snyder. Yeah, I'm Paul Snyder. You are unreal in that movie, and Bob Fosse, one of the great directors and Broadway directors. I, I just want to talk a little bit about that movie and how that came about. And Was that before or after Runaway Train? That was way before Runaway. I think I think Runaway was 85. Uh, Star 80 was 82 when we made it. Did you have to audition for it or just kind of meet? Oh, yeah, five times. A character like that, they start out usually, they're charming, and they're, you see all of the things. But this character from minute one of this movie is so creepy and narcissistic, and you feel the psychosis of it. So was that a kind of a challenge to how do I make this guy relatable at all? And he was. Well, what I believe and have always believed about my, my, um, my work in that movie is this. You have to find a way to like them because if you don't like them, you play at them. You don't play them. And you have to like who you're playing, even when they're a-holes. You have to find yeah. a way to make them you or to make you them. And when that, when that happens, you have an affection for them, even if it's not, not really conscious. You have an affinity because you're in your psyche. You're you're like you're like trying to match up with them. So so you have this thing, this little quiet, private marriage going on that that you that you can't share with people because it sounds so psycho. So you have to leave it alone. You have to leave it at home. You know the understanding of it. And uh, so it, it it's 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 hard because it's not fun, and it's only fun if after the. Uh, accomplishment of doing it then oh god that was i did it oh god that was so great but the actual doing it is nauseating and uh it's hard and it's also kind of embarrassing because you open yourself up to real vulnerability like uh, like the scene at the mansion when playboy mansion yeah i mean he was just he was a child he was an eight-year-old boy in heaven and uh but you can't be cute you have to be what everybody feels which is a little bit embarrassing so that's why I think to, to watch a movie is so hard because we all have been a part of Paul in our lives many times. 